This is the Evolution Rage 3 DB. This machine takes a 255mm blade. This machine can cut metal, wood and plastics all with the one blade that is supplied with the machine. If you swap that over for a diamond blade like this, you can also cut masonry, reinforced concrete such as lintels and fence posts etc. All with this mighty saw. As well as doing mighty cuts, this machine will also do double bevel cuts. So it actually bevels in both directions. As you can see, this machine is currently connected to the Evolution leg stand, which does make it a lot easier to use. The machine has a powerful 2000 watt motor. At the back here, we have a connection where you can plug in your vacuum cleaner and that will take away the majority of the dust when you are cutting wood. The clamps on this machine are very easy to use. Simply put your material in, slide that down, tighten the thumb screw at the back, and then tighten the larger screw there. That will safely hold the material whilst you cut it. You can, you can easily swap the clamp over from one side of the machine to the other by undoing that thumb screw. That will then simply slot out. You can then insert that in the other side of the machine and tighten the thumb screw. The mitre gauge on this machine is very easy to read and it's also raised above the surface so you can actually feel where they are as well. To change the angle, simply press that lever underneath and then you can move it to wherever you want and then you can lock that in position using that large screw. What you can do with this machine is you can actually find all the common angles because they are marked with indents. So when you're moving the machine it will actually lock at specific angles which are common angles that a lot of people would commonly use. You can actually turn the machine to 55 degrees in either direction. A lot of machines don't do that, the majority of them only go up to 45. At the back of the machine we have this fence. It is highly important that you move that out of the way if you're doing any bevel cuts because the machine will easily cut through this aluminium. So it's absolutely critical that you move them out of the way because you can cut through them very easily. This machine is also equipped with a laser which can guide you to exactly where the blade will be cutting. I'm not a massive fan of lasers but this one does seem quite a good one. You can actually follow that line quite easily. I'm not sure how reliable that would be. You'd probably have to calibrate it at some point. On this side of the machine, we have the lock down pin, which enables you to lock the blade down for when you're storing the machine away or when you are carrying it. And at the back of the machine here, we have the slide control knob, which you can tighten up. That will stop the actual machine from sliding. So if you were to move this machine, you would lock that pin down and also tighten up that knob. That will stop the machine from moving at all. This machine also has a depth stop, sometimes called a grooving stop or a trenching stop. That can be used to adjust the height at which the blade travels. So you can actually use that. Just undo the wing nut and screw that in. And that will actually limit the height and what the blade can travel. So that is very useful if you want to do any trenching or any grooving or anything like that. So that is a very useful feature. Normally on a lot of machines like this you can simply flick a lever out of the way for the depth stop which means that you can actually leave that set to a specific depth but on this machine you actually do have to unwind it. We'll now just get the fences out of the way and then if you undo this knob at the back and pull out this pin, we can actually bevel the machine over to 45 degrees in either direction. Once you get to 45 degrees, the pin actually locks, so it is actually locked in position. That actually means that you can cut compound mitres on this machine very easily. Now we can lock that back up again to 90 degrees. For longer repeat cuts, you can use the repeat stop, which can easily be adjusted. You can slide that anywhere you like, or you can put it on the other side of the machine if you want to. I'm just going to cut a few 6 inch pieces of timber now, so I'm just going to put this piece of wood on there, so that I get the correct length. The 
The machine utilizes two triggers. The one at the top is the one that starts the machine. The one at the bottom is the one that releases the actual guard on the machine. So if you press the bottom one in, that will enable you to push the machine down and complete the cut. And the top one actually starts the mortar on the machine. So you can quite easily grab that with either hand and then press in the first button and then the start button, the machine will start. This machine actually has an electronic brake which stops the blade very quickly once you have completed the cut. This is a piece of 6x3 timber. This has also got some nails embedded in it. What you want to know is, can this machine cut through nail embedded timber? The answer to that question is yes, it can cut through nail embedded timber very easily indeed. Decking boards can be cut very easily on this machine simply by using the mitre function. You can do neat, accurate mitre cuts on this machine very quickly indeed. The maximum size of timber you can cut on this machine is 320mm by 80mm which is approximately 12 inches by 3 inches. Sometimes you need to cut a piece that's slightly too big for the saw. In instances like that you can flip the workpiece over which will enable you to cut pieces up to about 600mm long which is about 2 feet. I'm now going to remove the fence at this side. I'm going to unlock the handle at the back and then I'm going to bevel the machine over to 45 degrees. Then I'm going to lock the handle at the back. So I'm now going to do a bevel cut in this piece of timber. You can then do long mitre cuts like that. So that is very handy for skirting boards, etc. This machine can also cut up to six millimeter thick mild steel using the same blade. I'm now going to mitre this at 45 degrees. Before you cut any metal, it is a good idea to put the plug in the back there to stop any swarf from being spat out of the back. And that is absolutely cold to the touch. There is no heat at all when cutting metal on this machine. As well as being able to cut slots in wood using the depth stop, you can also cut slots in metal like so.
Normally work like that would have to be done on some kind of milling machine, but you can quite easily do it on the Evolution saw, simply using the one blade. I'm now going to cut through this piece of 6mm thick mild steel using the same blade. And that is absolutely cold to the touch. The beauty of this machine is that you can also fit the Evolution diamond blade on there, which then enables you to cut masonry and even reinforced concrete. So that's the Evolution Rage 3 double bevel mighty saw. I think you'll agree that is a very useful addition to any workshop.